All of my um, back transfers are done with the assistance of an ultrasound. The ultrasound is there to show the depth of my cannula. So the safe zone when injecting fat is that you want to be below the skin, but you want to be above the gluteus maximus muscle. So with the ultrasound that um, I have, I can see exactly where my cannula is, and make sure that I'm in the correct plane at all times, and I can put my fat exactly where I want to be safely, which is the key. So once I get my cannula in, we're going to see where I stand. And you can see she's got a lot of distance between the skin and the uh, muscle. She's got about four centimeters there. You can see that line there. That is the, um, that's where the, that's the position of my cannula. See, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of moving it in there. When, when we're doing this operation, there are some limitations de depending on what we're starting with, you know, and that's the importance of the consultation when it, when it comes to that. So you can see right now, I'm, I'm filling up the areas where her holes were in her indentations. And, you know, right now it's coming out nice and round. Most people tend to keep somewhere around half of the fat that, that goes in there. It's different in everybody. It could be a little bit more, it could be a little bit less, but um, you know, that depends on the, on the patients. The doctor Jeffrey me dio muchas recomendaciones porque yo no quiero unos senos llamativos, pero sí quiero una caída natural. Él me explica que por mi tamaño y el espacio que tengo entre los senos, que puedo llevar eh, un tamaño de 450, pero puede variar el día de la operación. Now we finished the liposuction and the fat transfer to the buttocks, so and now we're going to start the breast dog. Um, she chose to do a, a saline breast implant, so you'll see that I'm the one that actually fills up the implant. But you know, she needs that extra volume to kind of make her her shoulder, chest to hip waist ratio kind of symmetric because right now she's got a nice tiny waist and, and nice uh, size hips and it's not matching her breast. So, you know, right now with the implant, we're going to give her some volume. So, you know, when we place the implants, the implants are placed in a pocket that's underneath the um, pectoralis muscle that gives more coverage over the implant. And that also helps to, to um, decrease one of the complications of the uh, potential breast implants, which is a capsular contracture. So what I'm doing first is I'm just dissecting down through her subcutaneous tissue to find the lateral border of the pectoralis major muscle. So we finished putting in the breast implants. The surgery is completely over. Um, she looks good. We got uh, 550 in each side. So it looks good with her body and, and the type of body that she has. Everything looks symmetrical, it looks nice and natural. Now we're just going to wake her up from anesthesia. Then she'll be transferred to the recovery room. And then from there she'll recover usually about an hour or two and then from there she'll go home but everything went well es un cambio que la mayoría de las mujeres buscamos tener una apariencia bella tener más seguridad poder ponerte la ropa que quieras lucir y caminar segura a menos de una semana de haberme operado estoy me siento muchísimo mejor la inflamación ha bajado cantidad el abdomen planito unas caderas y un